I'm here with Harley Whalen at the Betrayed world premiere. This is your film. How do you feel tonight? I'm excited. I can't wait to see this on the big screen. Uh, you know, going through all the editing process, sitting there, picking it all apart, uh, losing your ability to be objective, and then to see it received. Uh, I can't wait. Now, would this be a movie that you would want your loved ones, daughters, wife, sister, to see? Yes, uh, obviously, you know, you have to be old enough to, to comprehend the subject, but I think it's really important because of what is happening in the world to see um, that this is not something that is happening somewhere over there. This is not something that happens to those people who look like that. It's everywhere and it's, it, it's, it's in our backyards. And I like the fact that we, we need to, we need to, we need to do some, some better than what we've been doing. Right. And I think this can help you kind of see that this is not something foreign. And just to clarify to all the viewers who haven't seen the film yet, this is trafficking that we're talking about. Yes. And a lot of the film, young women are trapped and drugged and trapped in dog cages. Yeah. I mean, this is not just happening overseas, this is happening right here in here. America. So how do you feel being attached to a movie that's sharing that message? You know, I, I'm really excited about it. We have, uh, at my church, we had uh, the pastor talk about it. He, he gave the message and he started talking about some statistics in Michigan and, and I was oblivious and I'm, I'm embarrassed to say it. And what are some of these stats that were really shocking? Right now there's 14 and a half to 17 and a half thousand trafficked women and kids uh, and boys in this country. It's sickening. It's, it's disgusting and, and, and the, the scarier part is if you take another step back is who are these people that are buying this? Right. Who wants this? And, wh and what can we do maybe at an even earlier stage to stop people from having uh, terrible urges to, to grow up? Uh, at what point do we need to, to interact and stop this from, from becoming a bad thing? Right. So, yeah, I, I'm not sure what the answer is, but I want to shake people into action so that at least they do something. Right, and this movie's going to do it. This movie, sometimes you kind of have to scare people and really open people's yeah. eyes to make that movement. Yeah. Now, this movie, it has action, it has thriller, it, it has real life things going on. Yeah. Why should someone come and see Betrayed? Uh, okay, I'm gonna step completely away from the message and say <laughs> it's gonna it's it's very entertaining I mean, it's you can sit down watch this and lose yourself for an hour and 38 minutes and, and, and then come out of it and then hopefully you'll go like wow Is it really that bad and then you'll go research it and then you'll do something spring into motion But but ultimately I always start with entertainment because if you don't entertain then, then you lose it. Right. And that's what movies are all about. We're here right. for the entertainment, right? And the popcorn. And the popcorn. Love <laughs> the popcorn. All right. Last question. What was your favorite memory during the filming and just the whole process of Betrayed? Oh, God. You know what? I, I'm, I'm going to say I have a lot of favorite actors in this film, and they did amazing. But, you know, John Savage and Richard Tyson are such iconic uh, actors and uh, and sometimes they catch that role that just makes them shine and I feel that they really got captured well and I really enjoy the performance we just got a review today and I read it and I'm like this is exactly what I was thinking and, and, and I'm so happy that people are seeing it yeah. but John Savage is iconic in, in this film and I just love watching him uh, just play this character that is so compelling Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And I can't wait to see Betrayed. And I'm sure a lot of other people are excited, too. Because as you said, you. it's very entertaining. Thank you. Thank you, Harley Whalen, for talking to Popcorn Talk. Thank you. Thank you.